you want to look in Las Vegas' future, you might want to look towards Detroit. Thousands of casino workers have hit the picket lines in Detroit after negotiating for several, several, several hours trying to get a new deal uh, for, for pay and for health care. And the culinary union, they're still negotiating with the big three in the hopes of a new contract, them being the uh, MGM Resorts, who they had a uh, talk with yesterday. Uh, they're negotiating with Caesars on Friday and then win next Monday. But tomorrow, they're going to be back on the picket line beginning at 5, expected to be around Bellagio. Uh, it's not a strike yet, but they say if this round of negotiations isn't fruitful, a strike date will be set. Uh, so expect tomorrow around 5 p.m. around the uh, Bellagio area, as if the traffic weren't bad already. I know, my gosh. They may tie up a little bit more traffic. Yeah. So that'll be fun. You but better uh, figure it out sooner than later. F1's around the corner. It certainly is. Super Bowl's around the corner. Mm -hmm. Perfect Crazy. negotiation. Yeah. Good for them. Uh, rapper Blueface has been ordered to pay the owners of the shuttered Euphoric Gentlemen's Club near the Strip $13.1 million in damages following his shooting a patron there in October of last year. The club claimed due to his negligence they lost their license to operate, and the judge agreed. So there we go. This guy's so annoying to me because... Uh, and I've learned from my 15-year-old that he's not even a great rapper. Like, he's not even, like, top of the line. He j is just always trash and always in the news doing something dumb like never for his like talents so it's just uh he's so much more annoying than anything to me i would say that would be a lot of just musicians in general yeah but like the, yeah I mean, he's in particular. Constant with the baby and the girlfriend and they're beating each other up constantly and that's the only reason i honestly know anything about him it's crazy well there he continues that legacy yeah for sure. <laughs> he was at the rams game with a bunch of strippers did you see that Living his best life. I can't. <laughs> like, like stripping at a football. Oh, they game. were actually stripping. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Practicing their craft at the I game. I guess so. I guess in LA that's okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's. I thought it was a family thing. I guess it's not. <laughs> now blue face is around. Does mother name old, him that or? <laughs> old blue face. That's why I act like that, you know. Yeah. Uh, okay. How do I we're losing a grocery store. And this one is uh, near and dear to our hearts because it's the closest one to us. Yeah. The one, uh, the Vaughn's at Durango and Desert Inn is set to close. The one right near Desert Breeze Park. Mm -hmm. Signs at the location, warning patrons, the location will be closing in the not too distant future. The Starbucks is already closed. Yeah, crazy. No mocha chai latte anymore. I'm telling you, just like the Vaughn's in Boca Park. I mean, but they both... They looked like they've been closed forever. Like the Vons and Boca Park, I kept saying, is this closed? And it wasn't. And then it was because it looked like it like this. Just, I don't you know. You can just tell walking into that one. I said it recently too. I walked in, I'm like, hmm, I feel like I'm in 1998. Mm -hmm. They're going to close this one yeah. one day. And I like Vons. Vons has really good, um, like a good uh, uh, butcher area. Yeah. That's good, but this one's going to be closed. Now, I'm not sure if that's anything to do with the uh, the pending merger. You got Vaughn's parent company, Albertsons, and Smith's parent company, Kroger. They're trying to merge by early next year. That would require some closures of locations in the Valley. Not sure if this is one of them, but it's very sad. Yeah. Very sad. R.I.P. Vaughn's. At least that Vaughn's. Yeah. Although, it just kind of seems like ever since like the Albertsons-Vaughn's merger, that it feels like Vaughn's has always been like second fiddle. Yeah. I think they would just prefer them all be Albertsons at mm -hmm. this point. But now what are they going to be? <laughs> yeah. Albertsons and like Smith's like, we had three apps and now we have one. Right. It's just crazy. Yeah. Hey, someone hit Mega, Mega Bucks. Uh, it's the fourth time this year that's happened. This one was $12.2 million and it was hit Wednesday at Excalibur, which wow. I'm very happy that it was Excalibur. Excalibur. You know, not at some super rich casino, but the one that was here on a bargain. Yeah. <laughs> Good for, for you. Sure. Uh, making that money. Hey, your back-to-back -back WNBA champion Las Vegas Aces celebrated their victory in a parade and rally last night at T-Mobile Arena. Talks of a three-peat already being thrown around. Speaking of the Aces, Chelsea Gray going to be signing autographs at Dick's Sporting Goods at Fashion Show Mall. That's taking a place tonight uh, from 6 to 7.30. Stanley Cup champion Vegas Golden Knights look to remain undefeated tonight at 8 at T-Mobile versus the Flyers. They are 6-0 and oh to start the season. The best start ever for Stanley Cup defending team. Good for them. <laughs> Flamingo around Koval experiencing lane closures through Wednesday for the F1 Bridge. If I look on Google Maps right now, it says that it's actually closed going on Flamingo at Koval. Koval's fine, but Flamingo's closed. 
All I know is it's just going to be dicey through tomorrow. Yeah. So keep an eye on that. You have been warned. Las Vegas weather. A little bit warmer today than yesterday, but it's more chilly right now than it was yesterday. It's 57 right now, oh. high of 77, and it's just going to go down, I believe, from from today and tomorrow. So it, it'll be here before we know it. We just have to hold on to the last sunny days that we have before it gets really cold. Yes, uh, we went to the park yesterday. It was lovely. Yeah, a great so time. did we. It was nice. But we're going to have to layer soon. Yeah. Layering. For sure. Ugh. 